Okay, we're back. We're live. We're Think Tech Talks, TTT. And I'm Jay Fidel. Here it is on Friday afternoon, and we're doing the uh, Think Tech uh, Friday Tech Hour, uh, customarily reso re uh, reserved for Attila Ceres, who was actually going to do the second half of the hour um, because uh, he just walked in and we can't change right now. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to do the first half of the hour, and lucky you, Michael. Uh, that's that's Michael Hernandez Soria, who does Hawaiian Cool Water. Now this is part of the <clears throat> uh, NBT. It sounds like NBC, but it's not. It's NBT, the NBT series here on uh, Tech Friday, uh, and that stands for Next Best Thing. So uh, we have a constant um, a constant pipeline of entrepreneurs with new and fresh ideas oh and we're always examining which one of them is the next best thing we love them coming down here and presenting on their ideas so we have uh, half the show reserved for you Michael uh, tell us what is your uh, product it's the Hawaiian Hawaii cool water what is that what is that so Hawaiian Cool Water is the name of the company, and we uh, we are providing sort of the next generation of drinking water solutions for commercial entities in Hawaii. Uh, okay, all right. So, what's the need is water? We we have water. You do. There is great water in Hawaii. Okay, so what do we need your thing for? Um, the thing behind you, this thing. So you know, this is a very exotic-looking thing. It says Water Logic on it. What is that? So we are uh, a dealer for Water Logic, um, and this is their newest technology. We're the only company in Hawaii that that has this. It's called Firewall. Firewall technology. Firewall that was technology. reserved for computers and servers and whatnot. It is. It, it, well, so it's a it's a great name, um, and it what the firewall does is it provides a final barrier to your water, um, and there's actually a so UV it light. Your water. It purifies your water um, right at the last point where it might might come out. So, what we're the majority of what we do is we're replacing bottled water delivery for businesses um, because it's expensive. It is, it is, there are a number of challenges about it. Um, yeah, and them. Uh, I'd be happy to. Um, cost is a factor, um, and we are very competitive with bottled water. There are a number of other challenges that people have with bottled water. Its impact on the environment uh, is one that's very important to people in Hawaii. Uh, another one is the convenience. Um, the storage of the bottles, the lifting of them, uh, the delivery, not having enough, having too much, all of that adds up and is just inconvenient for people and takes up time and space and that's valuable well, to, that to businesses. Well, that is true. That's, I, mean, I can that's, vouch for that. I can be your witness on that. <laughs> okay, so you get so, this gizmo that's going to, this gizmo is going to give me bottled water without the bottles. Exactly. So and how does it do in. that? We connect it to the water line that exists either in the building or somewhere else uh, and we bring that water line in and install it with this machine. And then inside is bottled water quality water. It is a system that we've developed at the Minnow Innovation Center. And then the firewall technology provides a final barrier. So what you're dealing with with bottled water is you're dealing with unchlorinated water. Tap water has chlorine in it, which prevents bacterial growth. As we saw recently, there was an issue when there was no chlorine in the water. E. coli was found in the tap water here in Honolulu. Yeah without chlorine bacteria will proliferate yeah in a healthcare environment we just installed these at Palimomi hospital they bacteria growth and keeping people safe is very important okay so and how do so you do that having you have, a uv you light have a line oh. that comes from a, a regular water right. line i mean it'd be the same line right. to, as to my sink okay and and uh, now suppose just suppose there's no uh, chlorine in that water mm -hmm. how are you going to clean it up so we're going to use a filtration and membrane multi-step process to clean up the minerals or any chemicals that might have entered the water through problems with the plumbing or in the building or anything like that that's in the bottom and that's in the bottom and that's where we build the filtration system into. And then up here, what we're going to do is we're going to prevent any bacteria that might have developed in the tank or might have entered the system from people using it. So a big problem with bottled water coolers is you have people touching them and using them. How clean their hands are, how clean our hands are in general as human beings, yeah. 
not really that great. Yeah. And especially in a hospital environment, you can imagine what that would be like. Yeah. And so by putting a UV light right at the spout, you're eliminating the possibility of any bacteria getting back up into the system as it would with a bottled water cooler or anything that might still be in the water or in the tank coming out. You're also preventing bacteria from around this area from proliferating and also infecting the vessel that you're putting the water okay. into. So Filters it's really in the bottom technology. and UV in, in the top. Yes, and, and that's, that's the, the last firewall. mile thing. The UV is that last last inch. Last inch. inch. Last yeah. Inch. Last inch. Okay. Last possible moment. And, and, and the light actually follows it down through the water as it's dispensing. It's pretty amazing how it oh, works. Oh, it looks at it. <laughs> oh, you must, you must, must be very dramatic to see the blue light. There, yeah, there actually is. As you're doing it, you can see the blue light this reflecting back out of the, out of the glass Trek. of water. Yeah, no, it, yeah, it totally looks like you're beaming up the water. It's pretty great. Okay, are you ready for my tough questions? Oh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, why do I care? Why don't I just get it out of the sink with a filter? You're more than welcome to do that. What we're doing is we're providing more confidence in your water and making sure that the water's really pure and you're trusting a professional to do that. You're also trusting a machine to do that as well. Tap water is safe. It's monitored, it's, it's, it's monitored by the Board of Water Supply. They make sure that your tap water is safe. A lot of people drink bottled water though. It may not always be safe. I mean, in the future. You Who said knows? that. You said that. I'll say I it didn't. again. <laughs> well, the fact of the matter is, a lot of people drink bottled water for whatever reason. We are providing a better alternative this is better, to bottled water. This is water. better water than bottled water? We believe so. And the reason is, is it doesn't sit in plastic. There's plastic, a, plastic a body of research. Plastic can be very dangerous, can it? There's a body of research that's starting that people are not are choosing not to drink out of plastic, especially the hard plastic bottles that are used for five-gallon delivery because of the BPA that can be in a lot of those bottles. Especially if, if the bottle gets hot. As I recall, if the water or the plastic gets hot, then the plastic dissolves into the water and you have what could be a carcinogenic. And that's very true, especially here in Hawaii. They don't refrigerate the trucks that they deliver the bottled water in. So a lot of people get concerned about that and we offer a better solution. So the tanks in here are made out of stainless steel. You're not dealing with your water sitting in plastic anymore. How much capacity? I mean, can I run this thing all day? Well, that you can. Um, what we do is we size the systems appropriately for our customers. So a customer that's using a higher volume system, we got to build in bigger filters and, and do that. So kind it's of a thing. question of volume. It's a volume of but, usage. But if I stay within the volume, it can just run and run and run. Then. Well, even if you do want to run and run and run and you and be high, we are serving very high volume customers already here in Hawaii. So for example, we provide the drinking water on all the Young Brothers tugboats, and they're a very high volume user, very demanding user, and we make sure that their water is safe consistently and that they have enough of it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So, but you know, the other thing I wanted to, so, so this is a water logic, which you are not making. The what, machine, what's yeah. your value added that you're providing here to this, this food chain, so to speak? So this is, this is a great question. I have a degree in biomedical and electrical engineering from Duke. Why didn't you mention that at first? <laughs> <laughs> you must be a Carolina fan. Uh, um, but um, what, what, we're, what we're bringing to the table is we're the first company to bring this technology to Hawaii. And I, I'm very passionate about this. This is all I think about all day long. And I travel back to the mainland for conferences and I make sure that we are at the forefront of technology and that we have the best of the best. So when I first heard about this technology, and it's brand new, I mean, this is less than a year old that this technology came out, I made sure that we became a WaterLogic dealer to bring this technology back to Hawaii to serve our customers with the best. So what you're getting with us as a company is me and the ability for us to find the best of the best and to bring it to you and so that you have that. There's no other company I, that I know of, at least, that's that's, fo that's that focused on water technology. You don't, you don't have any I, 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 IP here. This is their IP, it's their product. This the WaterLogic Firewall water logic is, is... And you are a dealer. We are a dealer for WaterLogic. The filtration system, the purification system, is actually our technology that we develop at the Manoa Innovation Center. Okay. So on that note, we're going to take a very short break. You got it. And we're going to come back and we'll talk about exactly what the te technology is, whether it's protected or it can be protected or what, okay? Got it. Okay. That's Michael Hernandez Soria. We're not kidding about this. This is the Hawaii Cool Water System, and we'll be right back here on Think Tech Friday after this break.
Aloha, I'm Jay Fidel, founder of Think Tech Hawaii. We are a digital media nonprofit that covers things that matter to tech, energy, diversification, globalism, and progress for our state, the state of Hawaii. We broadcast on community television and on Oceanic Cable Channel 16. We also stream our shows and interviews live on the internet as both radio and video, and of course, we post them here on YouTube. We collaborate with the Hawaii Venture Capital Association to present monthly luncheon programs on subjects of interest to the business community. And we write for the Honolulu Star Advertiser. ThinkTech works hard to raise public awareness in Hawaii. Check out our website, thinktechhawaii.com, and come to our YouTube channel, Think Tech Hawaii. We hope you support our mission and that you like our work. I'm Jay Fidel. Mahalo. Aloha, I'm Maria Kashem of Think Tech Hawaii, and I want to tell you about our Think Tech talk shows. If you didn't know it, Think Tech streams video and audio for all of its shows live on the internet from 2 to 5 p.m. every weekday afternoon, and we replay them all night long on Ustream.tv. Visit ThinkTechHawaii.com for our live stream and YouTube links. Raise your awareness on Think Tech. I'm Maria Kashem, and I'll see you there. I'm Bill Spencer, president of the Hawaii Venture Capital Association. We do monthly luncheon programs with ThinkTech about things that matter to Hawaii entrepreneurs, investors, and business service providers. So join us on the fourth Thursday of every month at the Plaza Club. For information about upcoming events or to join our mailing list, visit hvca.org. See you there. Hi, welcome back to Think Tech Friday. I'm your host, Atola Saras, in our ongoing series, NBT, Next Best Thing. Uh, we're looking for the next best company, the one that's doing something in interesting and important, and we want to help them out here at Think Tech and give them some exposure and discover what they're doing and tell the world about it. So uh, with us today is Michael Hernandez Soria with uh, Hawaiian... Cool Water. Hawaiian Cool Water, yes. And in fact, um, you know, before we jump into the conversation, I want to talk to, about something very important, which is my shirt. So my shirt is a Robotech shirt, and because this is a ThinkTech show, mm -hmm. it's a shout out to all of our uh, all of our viewers on ThinkTech uh, who like Robotech. If you guys like Robotech, or if your guys are, are nerds about old cartoons, go ahead and make a comment on our on our page, uh, ThinkTechHawaii.com, or on our YouTube channel. That's uh, ThinkTech Hawaii. So, anyways. Uh, now that the important announcement is over, now let's talk about the difference between Hawaiian cool water and a regular bottle of water. Okay. Now, my guess is that the Hawaiian cool water sitting in a car for three weeks is probably not going to be a big thing of poison, right? Is, is that the... Is that the <laughs> I, I would never use the word poison to describe Would you give this to your kids? Bottle of water. Uh, I personally would not, but I, I am trying to reduce the amount of plastic that I use and the amount of plastic that I consume out of uh, in my own life. Uh, so we have like personal. this ocean of plastic bottles floating around. That's where we have the, was it the plastic beach on the big island? Yeah. Yeah, and there's a great there's a great documentary called Tapped. I don't know if anybody wants to watch it, but it's on it's available it's on, Netflix. on Netflix. Yeah, and uh, they feature a University of Hawaii researcher that's researching the plastic in the ocean and how much of that plastic is is coming from bottled water is 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 unfortunate. Now, the bottled water companies will tell you that it's not their fault that people are disposing of the bottles incorrectly. And that's true. It isn't their fault that people are disposing of the bottles incorrectly. You throw it in the correctly. trash, right? Is that what you do with this? I mean, people. But even if you were to throw it in the trash, it shouldn't wind up in the ocean. It's it's it, it's unfortunate that it is, but it is. And so, if we can reduce our reliance on it, I think that'll help the environment. But it's also it is a health issue. People shouldn't be leaving them in their car and drinking out of them. Um, it is bottled water is a thing of convenience, and you'll never completely eliminate it. I don't think, but. Personally, I choose to reduce my impact uh, on the environment, but also to drink out of glass, which I feel is a healthier material to drink out of. Now, you know, I think I actually did see that that documentary you mentioned, Tapped. And if I remember right, this was maybe a year ago, they said something about they found estrogen in the in the water. Is that true? Uh, it, it, 
uh, you'd have to watch the documentary again. I don't want to sort of comment on science that I didn't you personally. Up, I, I did, I did, I did. So, but they trapped. They, they have, <laughs> trapped. <laughs> they have. They have. There are a number of chemicals that they are finding that are coming that are leaching into water from bottled water. Um, one that's amazing that has been shown is uh, in the hard plastic five gallon jugs. Yeah. The BPA is still used in that hard plastic. Um, unless that hard plastic says BPA free, which for the most part, when you see those bottles, it does not. Um, that is a, a known carcinogen that has been banned in the use of all baby products. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. is no longer used in baby bottles or anything like that. And it's amazing that those five gallon jugs are not considered a child product, and therefore BPA is still allowed in the use of those bottles. What is BPA? BPA is a hormone. Uh, it's biphenyl. Uh, it's it's a tough thing to pronounce, but it is um, it's a harmful chemical, and it's I know bad. that it's it's, it's bad. bad. There Make are so many. There are there's so much science. Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's so much science, and there's so many chemicals involved. I'm just choosing to simplify my own life and to drink out of glass, which is known to be inert, known to be safe, and for Plus how cool thousands is of years, humans yeah. have been drinking out of glass and have known that it is the best material to drink out of. Well, we also didn't live past 40 for like thousands of years. So That's true. But <laughs> by the time you would have gotten cancer anyway, or yeah. well, I mean by a tiger or something. Yeah. So this is, this is your solution. This is, it looks like a milk jug. Uh, this is your bottle, so yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna open it, mm -hmm. and now Jay was is the producer. Mm -hmm. His heart rate is now elevated. He's mm -hmm. about ten feet away, and I can feel his eyes okay. looking at me. So I, I'm gonna put the top back on before it spills and ruins his precious equipment. But I think we have a we have one that I can show that's empty. So I'll yes. put yours down in a safe okay. place. <laughs> Jay's smiling because he knows I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh, so this is cool. So I could put a candle in here, or I could put water. And uh, is anyone else making a glass uh, water container that's that's you know maybe maybe Aquafina? Do they, does Aquafina have a have a metal? I mean, yeah, there are glass. bottled water brand, brands that come in glass for sure, um, and and you can buy them at the store, and they're they're considered premium brands that yeah. carries a lot more expense, usually European. I think I, I think I have one in my car. It's like Voss or something, but yeah, it was glass. Voss is a great brand. Yeah, and then yeah. and then now it's plastic, so they've they've sold out. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. They're trying to bring down the price below five dollars. Because who would have known? You know, it's funny because if you talk to older generation people, they're gonna say if if you would have told me that I would be paying more for water than gasoline, I would have told you, you were out of your mind. And this was what twenty years ago. And now it's huge. It's but in Europe, deal. they've been doing it for a long time. So I think what you're seeing is Carbonated. a trend. No, still too. Still? They, yeah, right. and the reason why is their infrastructure, their plumbing infrastructure has aged and is older and has a lot of problems. And people know that. And they know European water, I mean, that's what they're bottling. That's Evian, that's Pellegrino, that's all those waters, mm -hmm. right? So their water is really high quality, just like it is in Hawaii. We have really high quality water at the source. Oh, but in Europe, they've recognized, and they recognized decades ago, that their plumbing infrastructure wasn't keeping up and that it was introducing, because of that old infrastructure, was introducing bad things into their water. And so they migrated to bottled water in Europe a long time ago. Now in the United States, we're also dealing with an aging infrastructure, and, the, and hence you see the rise of bottled water. You're now also seeing in Europe the rise of these things point of use filtration so you're dealing with filtration systems that people are putting into their homes because they wanted to save money on bottled water they couldn't trust the tap water in europe so they moved to putting in their own purification systems in the home so they wouldn't have to buy bottled water and store it in their small european apartments hmm. and so they're moving they're at the next stage now they're moving past bottled water and to in-home purification systems well, you know, it's funny because I used to live in LA, and I think mm -hmm. what used to come out of my tap was something around this color, mm -hmm. which was a mixture of rust and poop. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, we had to get like these big five-gallon jugs, and we used to—that's what we drink out of. We put it in the fridge or whatever. I don't yeah. even see that in Hawaii here. Five so gallon just delivery? Yeah, no, no, no. Oh. You can go to the market and get, you know, a little thing with a little handle and a little spout, and you drink water yeah so instead now we're stuck with these what is it like a $60 filter for your refrigerator that you got to throw out every six months 
I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. G filters. Yeah. That everyone goes through. So my fridge has got water purification in it. Is this better or does it matter? Is it all the same stuff? There's a difference, actually. So your fridge has a, has a water filter, mm -hmm. and it's probably a carbon filter, which will remove chlorine. Ah. That that filter only lasts for so long right. and you're probably one of the few people that actually does replace their refrigerator filter on a what regular are you talking basis about? after six months it tastes like i'm drinking out of a toilet you know you're like oh gotta change the filter and it's like things start coming out it's like coffee grinds you're like oh time to change the filter <laughs> you know <laughs> very few people actually do that so really? you're you are in the minority that I, is a nuts. lot of people haven't changed the filter since they bought their fridge and they can't understand why it doesn't taste good and the reason why is that they haven't changed the filter. Now you can imagine for an office, the sort of the usage level goes way up and their need for cold water goes way up and they might not even have a refrigerator that has that. But not only that, you're also dealing with the level of filtration that you're getting from a carbon filter from a refrigerator is not a purification level. So it's still never gonna be bottled water quality you're not taking out any chemicals that might be in the water, any additional minerals, that kind of thing. Nitrates would be an example. Right. So there was a warning issued by water, Board of Water Supply for Kapolei District um, for increased nitrates in the water where they had a level beyond what was recommended by, uh, by the regulations. And they suggested that everybody in Kapolei get bottled water. Now our system would take care of nitrates in the water and they wouldn't have to well, worry about that. Here's what I recommend. I'm going to give you the next million dollar idea for you to work on because we only have about another minute left. Okay. Here's what you need to do. You need to take this little box here mm -hmm. and put put a quarter vending machine item in here. Mm -hmm. You take this bottle, right? You put one of these at Starbucks or at Safeway. You fill it up with your special elixir of clean water, which I guess is magical and special in some way and then you take that elixir you sell for a quarter and off you go right so sell put make these coin op what do you think we, we you're probably welcome work on for that. the good idea Thanks yes a lot. see <laughs> <laughs> i like it all right well um yes, that's my idea much. for you what's that yes, oh yeah how much does this thing cost so they range we are the, what we like to say is we are competitive with bottled water most of our customers will save money with us some will not there's sort of a minimum that threshold. is a very salesman answer well, that we have to design. We have to design. We have to design the system to meet the needs of our customer. We make sure that we meet the needs of our customers. So, we have to adjust pricing to to do that. It ranges. Give me a range. Give me a range. It ranges anywhere from you know some of our customers are down in the seventy dollar range and oh, and, and, and seventy then, and, bucks. But then it goes up. It, it goes up pretty significantly from there. Seventy bucks. So between seventy and two thousand, three thousand, couple grand. It's priced on a monthly basis. Hey, you know what? It's cheaper than a trip to the hospital that's for sure so okay. i say let's drink cool clean water from hawaiian cool water and the, the website is hawaiiancoolwater.com correct mm -hmm. and uh michael thank you for joining us on the show i really appreciate it thanks for, thanks uh, for giving us a little bit of something and uh, as for you watching online go ahead and go to thinktechhawaii.com i'm your host Attila Saras, and next we're going to have a new uh a new awesome thing uh from george uh from shop suey so stay tuned we'll be right back How are you? You feeling good? Are you feeling lucky? <laughs> Think Tech Hawaii, it puts a bubble in my bender. <laughs> live TV folks <laughs> Galen Ho is a senior executive of BAE Systems, 
a global defense, security, and aerospace company. The High Tech Development Corporation, the state's leading technology agency, attached to the Department of Business, Economic Development, and Tourism. Castle in Cook, Hawaii, with a time-honored legacy that spans more than 160 years and revolves around its mission of investing in Hawaii, creating communities, and providing for the needs of our state. Hawaii Gas, formerly the gas company, a proponent of the liquefied natural gas initiative, helping Hawaii achieve its transition to clean energy and a better energy future. Collateral Analytics, a Hawaii-based tech company empowering the real estate industry with greater and faster access to the tools and data they need to make better informed property investment decisions. I'm Nicole Horry. Thanks so much for joining us on ThinkTech. I'm Maria Kashem. See you next time. <laughs> Is it okay? We're back. We're live, and you're watching Think Tech Friday. I'm your host, Attila Sares, and we're here with George Shalikian uh, from Shop Sui. Thanks for joining us on the show, George. Pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. So, of course, as you know, uh, on Think Tech, uh, we talk about more than just my T-shirt, which is, of which course, is awesome. Robotech. Awesome. I'm going to move my mic over just so that the cameras can find it just a little bit better so our audience viewers can see it a little bit more. My producer is upset because I'm talking about my t-shirt more than anything else, but <laughs> hey, that's okay. You know, next time sure, you can sure. wear a, a clean, cool t-shirt yourself, but we're here to talk about Shop Suey. Now, uh, you know, I was told to ask first thing, how much does it cost? But, you know, maybe we'll save that for a little bit later in the that show. That could be the punchline. Yeah. That could be the punchline. Yeah. Free, right? Well, actually, Shop uh, Suey is free. There you go. So, so free. Let's, so let's start with free. So the next best thing is free. Free stuff. And, uh, and uh, we have here a, a, a fancy MacBook Air, which, by the way, is now last year's model because they, they, they recently announced that they have a much better one. So hmm. for bringing inferior technology on the show, your points go down. Sorry. Can, if you invite me back, I will have a new MacBook Air. Yes, that I is a demonstration it. of your success. In, My with commitment. Your app. My commitment, <laughs> indeed. So, um, so tell me, what is Shop Suey? So, Shop Suey is composed of two parts, and I will demo the user-facing part, the shopper-facing part, and not two the parts. merchant or mall-facing part, because we do have a content management system. That's so, very confusing. So, what is is it revolutionizing the way people shop? What what? Why I is this like the next that. Best thing? That might be overstating it a little bit, but it will certainly help improve the way that people shop. So, what Shop Suey does is you go on the App Store, if you have an iPhone, you download it for free. In a couple of months, you'll be able to download the Android version. Months? So that, two months. Wow. We're in production right now oh, wow. on the Android side. Now, the, the reason why is Android's a little more complicated. I know I see the Android devices over there. The problem with Android is there is no homogenous Android device. Look at the size of that thing. You know, it's funny how people like to use big words to explain simple things. I'm a writer, so they screens are different. Every device is different. This one is different yeah. than this one. So to write an app for this one versus that one yes. is too complicated. That's the issue. So yeah. you you typically start on the iPhone with iOS because yeah. you're dealing with one set of standards, and then once you got all the bugs worked out and it's working beautifully, then you port it over to Android. Okay. At least that's what they're telling me. I mean, you're more techy than me. I'm the marketing guy, so you look like a marketing guy. You got like the little soul patch going. Yeah. See, you, you haven't committed tell. to the real beard. You're just it's kind of, coming. You're half halfway there. You yeah. think I should go that far? I'm not that bright though, so the uh, the tech side eludes there's, there's me. There's a difference between bright and brave. You just gotta do it. <laughs> you just gotta do it. Beards brave are I've in. Got. This is called, I think, the hipster beard. The hipster beard. I like yeah. it. And then you have the hipster t-shirt. Hipster t-shirt too. too. Yeah. I have to nice. dig this one out. That's good. This is. It's real. I'm impressed. Yeah. I should probably turn my phone back on so you guys can see uh, what I'm demoing here. But oh, okay, okay. So, so Shop Suey is an app. What's the app do? It helps make shopping better. We'll start Where? broadly with that. Any I mean, Amazon and shop, shop. You can, but, but yeah. you know what? You can't really taste the chocolate chip cookie in Amazon. You couldn't try that shirt on or the shoes at Amazon. You, oh, so this is for the mall. Experience. This is for this is for. We're supporting brick and mortar. Oh, so this is this is technology helping to drive foot traffic into brick and mortar stores, malls and merchants, um, marketplaces, Kaneohe Ranch, Kailua, the entire town, uh, Beach Walk in Waikiki, Alamoana Center. I've got Alamoana Center up here somewhere. And and what we're really about doing, all these well, the number one is you kinda gotta know where you are. Okay. And we're we're gonna help you with that. So this so is the app. So I launched the, the app, app and I say I want to go shopping for something. Let's see. You're Let's, at, let me get let me get you to Alamoana Center. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wander over here on my app. 
and we're going to get to Alamoana Center. Now I'm guessing you have a few like stores that have signed up for this. We've in got Alamoana. a few stores that have signed up. We've got actually over 4 million square feet of retail signed up already. So how many stores is that? I honestly don't know what You're the latest count is. You're a marketing guy. You're supposed is. to know the numbers. I make up a number. 692. So between six and seven hundred, something like that. We've got we've got a bunch of stores signed up all over the state. We're also we also turned on Singapore and Japan. We're also working through the West Coast and into the contiguous U.S. So oh, good, good. what we do is we've mapped the great indoors mm -hmm. through our marketing our mapping partner Micello. That's the largest indoor mapping company in the world and we have all of their maps they like what we're doing they gave us access to their maps and we're helping them map white so we're not so concerned with what's going on on the street as much as we are let me take you you can kind of see on like the screen inside. here i'm going to take you inside so okay. pretend you're a guy and pretend you've got to go shopping and pretend your girlfriend Ugh. said Ugh. i'm sending you sorry. just don't tell my wife happens. about the girlfriend that's all i want not a word <laughs> not a word will be our secret you can edit that out. Yeah, there you go. Editor. Stop. Shh, shh. Cut, cut. Stop watching, Daniel. Don't we'll we'll <laughs> take you into the mall, and we can show you where all the stores are in the mall. And this is the app. You're actually watching the app in real time. So, so this, this is, what is it actually me. Looks like. This is me not wanting to deal with all the other distracting stores along the way. I can just exactly. pick which store I want to go to. I'm going to search for Cinnamon Girl because I don't know where that is. I what just is know it's Cinnamon a thing. Girl? It's a girl clothing store. It's a lovely girl clothing store. Why would store. I go to Cinnamon Girl? Because your girlfriend said she needed that dress in size six and go get it on your way home. Size six? Was she like 15? You can put me in prison here. Eight? <laughs> Ten? I'm, I'm, I'm a marketing guy. I'm, I'm dealing with the. Uh, I'm dealing you with. You should know your demographic. <laughs> this guy grows a beard. This is. This is not. I said your girlfriend. Okay, let's go yeah, to your right. wife. All right. She's yes. clearly. A there you sense. go. So I want to go to Cinnamon Girl. Okay. And Cinnamon Girl. I can. And what I want to see is. What the heck's happening in Cinnamon Girl? Do they have any offers? Do they have any this events? Is, What's going on? This is like like uh, like eight year old stuff. You're really gonna get me in trouble. My daughter is only like eighteen months old. Your daughter's eighteen months. I'm making I you sweat right cool. now. I'm not making you sweat. No, now. they got cool. They've got cool stuff for little kids too, all, all ages. Right. Okay, so so I want I want to be able to know what's going on at Cinnamon Girl. And if I were in the mall, and I I'm not, but if I were in the mall and I wanted to go to the map, I could get turn by turn instructions hmm. from the parking lot to the product on the shelf. And that's really what Shop Suey starts to enable the shopper to do. Oh, so it's mobile wayfinding. Mobile wayfinding, and then and then the really cool thing is every merchant in the mall that's working, signed up for Shop Suey, can not only know that you're going to find them, they can actually post an offer specific to you. Oh, I see. So they so I pull up in the parking lot. Yes. They know that I'm going to look at some little girl outfit. It's on your shopping list. Sure. Course yes, of course it is. It's on my shopping list. All right, get a tutu for an eight-year-old girl. There you go. Let's just say it's a kid's birthday party. How's Beautiful. That all right, I like good. that. Good scenario. And then, um, so I bring up Shop Suey app. I say, all right, I'm going to look for Cinnamon Girl. And then uh, they know I'm coming. So when, when I walk in through the door and they see this 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 walk through it, yes, th then they know that. Uh, they're gonna give you. They're gonna give me a discount or something special. For they can it. actually send you when you hit the parking lot and you say, "I like, I really like Cinnamon Girl because my wife's sending me there." Mm. And I want not only want to know where they are, I want to receive communications from them. You hit the parking lot, and when you turn Shop Suey on, there will be a notification if Cinnamon Girl has an offer for you that says, "Scan this barcode, come in. We'll throw a pair of shoes in for free." Or 20% off or hey you know what we've got new fashions and come take a look at them it's really up to the merchant to manage their brand the way they want to manage their brand what we're providing is a conduit a means of communicating with the people that are in the mall ready to shop so that's the difference between us and an Amazon or a Groupon I've got a shopper outside of my door who's ready to buy I want them to know I not only have what they're looking for, I may have a deal, I may have an event that they're interested in, you name it. Yeah, because isn't that the problem, particularly with these big retailers like Best Buy? They, they end up being uh, like a, a showroom for Amazon. So people show yes. up there, they say, well, that sounds like a great iPad. Let's see how much it costs on Amazon. Exactly. And then they walk out the door without buying anything, That's except batteries. Not, and you're, right, and you're yeah. absolutely right. It's called showrooming, and, and showrooming. these are 
you you nailed it. You got the word sure. right. We we're really trying to be um, a reason for people that are already out there shopping to walk into a merchant store. And if they've got a great offer, they've got a great event, or I even know where they are, mm -hmm. I'm going to make that so much easier on that shopper. And I'll be able to provide an analytics report to my merchants saying, oh, that worked brilliantly. We have we know how many shoppers are in our mall. You can see the difference between there's this many men, there's this many women, here's where they are. I can't really show you the back end and the app at the same time, but that's how it works. And I can give you reporting data that says, these are your offers, these are how they're performing in the marketplace. So. ShopSui is really supposed to give you a great profile of who your better customers are and what they're responding to so that you can be a more effective marketer. Hmm. So uh, what's the biggest store you have signed up for this? The Gap? Store-wise, yeah. actually Sears? we started with the local merchants. Um, I would probably say at this point the, the one of our most active stores is um, Jeans Warehouse. Oh, Jeans Warehouse. We're also working with Goodwill. Goodwill. Fun. Interestingly enough. Well, I want to hear more about that, but we have to go to a break just okay. for a moment. So those of you who are watching, stand by. I'm Attila Suresh with Think Tech Friday, and with us is George Shalikian. God, we just have yeah, crazy yeah. names, don't yeah. we? And uh, we'll be back right after this break. Aloha. I'm Nicole Horry for Think Tech. For nearly half a century, the Hawaii Foreign Trade Zone number 9 has brought the benefits of the Foreign Trade Zone program to Hawaii businesses and entrepreneurs. DBET, the Department of Business, Economic Development and Tourism, operates Hawaii's Foreign Trade Zone program to encourage international business and economic development. The Foreign Trade Zone's mission is to increase the amount of international trading activity in Hawaii, thereby providing employment opportunities for the residents of our island state. For more information, see ftz9.org. I'm Nicole Hori. Mahalo. Ready? We're back. We're live. You're watching Think Tech Friday. I'm your host, Attila Suress. We're here with George. Let's just call you George C. Because, <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> I've been called worse. That'll be fine. C. Well, there's, there's a lot of... You know, there's not that many bad words to start with C, so I guess you're okay. But... Um, you know, I, I've been called all kinds of things. I've been Attila Vanilla, Attila Gorilla, Attila the Nun, Attila Vanilla. Let's see what Attila's else. a lot to live up to. That's Ma a Matilda the Hun. Matilda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a lot to live up to. I, I hope it works. You know, the beard is really doing it. So I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna let this go. We'll see how. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Because that. But then your soul patch is gonna disappear. Fade into the background, yeah. as it were. I don't know if your significant other is gonna like it though. They don't like it. No, facial hair doesn't really go over too well. That's why I'm yeah. kind of limited to them. <laughs> Old ladies don't like it either. They're always going to tell you to shave. Yeah, my yeah. my late grandmother-in-law was pretty much, that was the first thing she said when she saw me is, you look fat and you need to shave. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> you should tell her the same thing, see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <clears throat> and this, <laughs> that's how I got this scar right here. <laughs> it's about the droopy left eyelid, yeah. yeah. So uh, during the break we were talking about low energy Bluetooth. And really uh, cool technology. Low voltage or low energy? What is that? Low energy. Bluetooth. Low energy. Lo B L T E. Bluetooth low energy. <laughs> Bacon, lettuce, tomato. Something like that. That, that sounds great. It. B T L E. Bluetooth B low energy. B T L E. Sounds like another way that they can track what you're doing and make money off of it. It is that value exchange that you experience when you want to know the movies playing near you. And mm. to know where you are, you have to say, I will give you permission to locate me. They already have that, though. Yeah. So, so what Bluetooth Low Energy does is it's a, it's a little tiny chip, runs on two AA batteries, lasts for about five years. You could stick it anywhere. Stick it near an elevator, stick it near an escalator, stick it at the information kiosk, stick it on the shelf near the product that you want to sell. If you reprogram it, it puts out a message that basically says whatever you want it to say. It pairs with your phone without there being any need for you to do anything. And what it, it, its most significant uh, attribute is, is it helps you, the shopper, find the product on the shelf because the accuracy of that Bluetooth chip is down to inches. Wow. So if you're a guy like me, I can't, I can't even find my own car when I've finished shopping. <laughs> How am I going to find that, that, that dress that we're using as, a, as an example for your 18-month-old daughter? I, I'm, I'm lost. I can't even find the store much less the aisle, much less the rounder, much less 
So it's kind of like GPS itself. shrunken down to the to the shopper exactly. level. And the problem with GPS indoors or Wi-Fi, we've all probably experienced this cell indoors, is if you've got a bunch of concrete and steel between you and the signal, you watch that little blue circle that indicates accuracy just get bigger and bigger and bigger. With Bluetooth, there's a seamless handoff just like between cellular and Wi-Fi that'll take you down to the inch level. So this started out as an idea for grocery stores to get you to the cans of soup on the shelf for the rounders. Um, we're fortunate, we work with a company called CSR, Cambridge Silicon Radio. Their mobile division is now located in Silicon Valley. And we're actually one of few, the few companies like uh, Safeway, as a for instance, that has permission to test their chips out so that we can start to learn how to use it. And uh, we're, we're really excited about that. We're not quite ready to deploy yet, but we're inching closer. Do you have anything you can show me or no? I cannot yet. Um, all, all I can really do at this point is kind of show you what a mall map looks like. And I can take you into the app and show you these are all of the various we've shopping tools that we've put in. Did it go to sleep? Yeah, it went to sleep. Hang on. I know the solution for that because I've Here, played I got, this I got some water. I could just pour it. Oh, if uh. it's Hawaiian cool water, I can recommend them. Did I do that right? Hawaiian cool water, yeah. Now, I think, yeah. I'm not sure if this could take, this is from our last segment, I'm not sure if this could take a... You know, so my laptop. Does this make you nervous? <laughs> Hugely. Yeah. Even though that you I need a new even, one. Anyway. Even though I know it's, I do need a new one. I promise you, I'd come back with that. Let's see, let's adjust a little bit better so the camera you can good? see it. There we go. No, wait, it's on me. Okay, here we go. You good? Okay. Th this now is it's blocking my 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 shirt. My, my shirt I my Robotech move, shirt. So. I would move it. The shirts. Yeah. It's okay. The shirts got. Here we go. We'll give you. We'll give you that. You give me that. Okay. Yeah. So this is the tool set, and I wasn't kidding. I do lose my car, and so I can. I can, the first thing I do when I get to a mall mm -hmm. or the airport or any parking lot is I take a little photo of my car and I write myself a little note to remind myself where the car is and I drop a pin and that way I can navigate back to my car. And I've used some of those apps and they always tell me it's somewhere else. Like it's, it's not that accurate. I can, vouch, I can vouch for ours. Ours is pretty darn good. And that's just kind of an, a, mm -hmm. a side note to the things that we offer. We've, of course, we got a shopping list. We talked about that. Probably the most significant new feature we've got is I can click on people mm. and I can follow certain people so that if you and I were both shopping, we yeah. could share cool stuff. You know, people. All right. So that, that's the, here we go. I'm putting this up. Here we go. Let's take it down. Look yeah, at my buddy right. Cam. Yeah. Cam. So you and I mm. could know if you had a wonderful and amazing shopping experience and you found that dress for your 18 month old, you could let me know about it. And that's really kind of what shopping in brick and mortar is all about is you can be efficient if you're, you know, a hunter killer, I need to get in, I need to get my stuff, I need to get out. Or if you're the kind of person like my lovely wife who enjoys shopping and it's a group activity and she does that to unwind, she can go with her friends and so What is it? What is it with women? They, they, they love shopping like that. I don't know any guy I, who does. No. I don't, I don't I, know. No. I don't, I'm gl we have, glad we have women on our team because they help us with the, we're not necessarily about the quickest way from point A to point B. We want to enjoy the ride. And that's what ShopSuite gives you. You customize the app based on what you like. And it's like, it's kind of like on Amazon. If you buy a certain kind of product, a certain category, you're going to get more information from the merchants that carry that kind of product. Mm. And it just gets smarter as you go along. I noticed that even uh, even at Safeway, when you check out, yeah, they have you know, hey, you bought some yogurt, you must like granola, right? Or yeah, and and do you remember they also used to have those things where you'd walk down an aisle and a little coupon would come out and start yes. flashing at you? Yes. Yes. Those now, were like prime for destruction, weren't they? Totally. They just, my kids love those things. Yeah, they just smashed it up. <laughs> yeah, beat them to death. Well, now you can do it electronically. So it, that coupon, if you were walking down through the mall with your wife, you might get info from the Apple store, mm -hmm. she might get the info from Cinnamon Girl. And and the more that you use the app, the smarter it gets and the more kind of customized to your shopping needs that would become. So we'd probably figure out, you just want to get in and get out, you like electronics, you like technology, that's what you're interested in. She likes shopping for clothing and shoes and accessories and she's gonna spend a lot more time in the mall than you are. True. you're with her. True. And with that, we're going to have to end because we're out of time. And I don't want to stop, but I have to. I'm being told in my ear that. Sorry, guys. No, Attila, before you, uh, before you uh, hang up on this, 
Sure. Um, you know, I just want to say that's Secret a beautiful out. shirt you got on there. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank uh, you, Jay. <laughs> I, I wanted to, I wanted to ask you uh, where you, where you got that shirt and, and how much uh, they had to pay you uh, to take it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, it's it's some it's a place where you know, uh, well, let's see here. Cool people like to shop, right? Cool, cool people, cool like, people to like to shop. So I figured we'd mix it up because we always wear Hawaiian shirts or some sort of nice dress shirts. I even worn a suit on this show before. Wow. Yeah, that would have freaked me yeah. out. We had like some. Yeah, if I would have come in with a suit, you like, would be sweating. Like an and, audit. Yeah, pretty much. I, I'd, I'd be asking you where your receipt is for this. <laughs> for this. <laughs> no, I, I think I think we all agree it's it's a it's a really uh, it's, a, it's a really special special shirt. It, it's a special shirt. Well, you know, maybe I'll wear a Doctor Who shirt next week. That's the. That's the true keep, nerd keep code. Keep them guessing. Yeah. Keep them guessing. Keep them guessing. I like that shirt, though. I, I can wear, like, uh, Hello Kitty or something no, no, like that, no, no, too. No, that's, no, that would be... That'd, that'd be, be wrong. Yeah. You, you know, it's almost cool now. You know, I, I saw... You think so? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people with colored socks. Have you seen that? Yeah. It's like the pink socks, the bright blue socks. Yeah. Good night, yeah. Attila. All right, okay. Yeah, good night, George. My producer's telling me good night. <laughs> what <laughs> Thanks, a pleasure. George. Thank you so much. Thanks for letting me talk about shop suit. Okay, appreciate it. And, of course... If you missed any part of the show, go ahead and rewind or join us at thinktechhawaii.com Fridays and of course all throughout the day uh, we're always streaming live and uh, replaying our older programs. Go to thinktechhawaii.com. I'm Attila Saras, Think Tech Friday, George, George. C. with uh, Shop Suey. See you next week.